Hello, everyone, and welcome to Perfect Fit Catalog 2020 training. My name is Elizabeth Edwards, and today we're going to look at just opening 2020, whether it's your first time using the catalog or if you need a refresher on closets. This is the screen um, that you might start with. You may not have this design information right away. Um, I have mine checked so that every time I open a new file, this box pops up, pops up so that I remember to fill it out. Um, at Perfect Fit, we do use this design info to help label and keep track of your product. You can fill in as much or as little as you'd like here, and this will show up on, um, on your quotes or your cost and sell and different reports that come out of 2020. But here at Perfect Fit, we, we use the customer name, the first name and the last name under the customer tab as well as under the design tab, the project ID, and that will label all of your parts when they come out of the manufacturing facility. So for example, we'll start this one off and we should start with the last name. I'll use my own. And the room. And for customer, I will put my own name as well. And then we'll know um, which project this is. Of course, you can use, like I said, there's you can use um, all these other tabs to fill in more information. Those two will will be used by Perfect Fit. So the other thing on here is if you're designing multiple closets for the same house, because of this labeling system, we ask that you design one closet per kit file. To speed things up, when you're filling out this design tab, you can click the recent button and previous projects of yours will come up. It will automatically fill in the customer information and then you can change the project ID to the other bedroom or to a different closet and that will speed things up for you. All right, so now we're in 2020 and we are looking for the perfect fit catalog. Before we do that, I will also mention that if you don't have the design information coming up right away on your screen, you can click it right here. So here on my workspace, I have the cloud browser and some information. Of course, under view, I can change this the way this screen is set up. But where is the perfect fit cat um, catalog? The perfect fit catalog is located on the local browser which is right now hidden behind the cloud browser. We can close the cloud browser if I'm not using it, or we can switch to the local browser so that you can see it here. And from the drop down, you want to find the perfect fit PFC if you're US, if in your, you are in the US, and CAN if you are in Canada. I'm in Canada right now, so I'll click that one. And here you can see all the different sections the modules, the parts, the accessories and so on. Today, we're going to look at the, the modules to start off. But of course, you need some walls to place your closet on to begin with. We won't go over how exactly to set up walls too much. I know 2020 um, and trains on that a lot and Sherwin has talked about it in some other videos. So I'm just going to put, um, oops, let's start again. I'm going to make a wall that includes a bit of a return. We had someone asking a question. Oops. We had someone asking a question about return walls the other day. So this is, I am not looking at the measurements here. I'm just putting something together so that I can demonstrate how we set up the elevations and the, oh, Sherwin, what, what is the, what are the placement areas? That's the word I'm looking for. Hey, Sherwin.
Can we stop this recording for now? Can I have a minute? So now that we have our walls up, including some return walls, it's really important to mention that with the Perfect Fit catalog, we need to make sure that we remove the placement areas that we're not using. You can see the placement areas here um, by the dotted lines. So right now, every single wall has a placement area. So in other words, 2020 is set up to make sure that you have enough room to design on every single wall. This closet, the way I have it set up, being a reach-in, we're probably only going to design on the very back wall here. So we want to remove the placement areas from the walls we won't be designing on. To do that, you can double click any of the walls and it will pull up your wall properties. This will list all of the walls and as you click them, they will turn green. As you can see, this, this wall here, wall one is green right now. And I'm gonna go into type and here's where it shows the placement zones. You can have an outside placement zone. We don't want any placement zones. Just for this demonstration, I'm gonna leave the placement zone on wall number two to see what happens if we don't, but I'm gonna take it off for wall number five, four and wall number five. I'm gonna click apply. So now you can see this line here is showing that there's still a placement wall on this wall. And this dotted line is showing that this is a placement wall. I'll mention while we're in here, this is also where you can change the ceiling height. It's important that you have the correct ceiling height um, and for designing closets. And it'll, so you can see how much variance that you have. So we're gonna click okay. And we're gonna add an elevation. Of course, we only need the one elevation. So we can use the tabs up here to add, add the elevation. I'm gonna double click the placement area and our elevation was created. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna add a tall module. Of course, there's wall modules and tall modules. Wall being the modules that are placed on the wall on a, on a hanging rack and tall being ones that, that are placed on the floor. You can use a combination of both. Today, I'm gonna to pull in a tall module. I'm gonna drag it in. So I'm gonna drag in and then let go on, of my mouse button. Hold my mouse button until I'm in the area on the elevation view and then let go. Here we can change the height. Um, I'm gonna leave it the same. I'm gonna leave it at about 84, but I'm gonna add a few openings um, and I'm gonna leave the depth. This is a reach in, so I am going to leave it at 14 and let's just, let's leave it everything how it is and press okay. And now you can see, you can drag it wherever you'd like. Uh, I'm not pressing any buttons on my mouse, but I'm gonna click once and we'll drop it in. To center it, we can right click center and then double click on the placement area down in the other the other space the floor plan now that we have it placed in here i am going to go back into the attributes and add some width to these openings You'll notice that while I change these, you can click apply and see it move into the room. All right, looks like we have room for, uh, for more. Let's go with this for now. We're gonna center it again. I'm gonna go ahead and start populating it for stability. We're gonna go into parts and we're gonna add cleats at the top. One trick you can use is you can press this button here and it will add one to the next one. That was, I had the, the cleat highlighted and I clicked under the placement, the right hand to get it to move over to the next right module or you can just keep dragging them in. So I'm dragging them in, I'm holding the mouse button down and then I'm letting go where I want it. And then I'm clicking one more time if once it's in place. 
Now I'm going to add some shelves. I'm going to add fixed shelves again for stability. And for this design, we're going to add some just closet rods. Again, we're going to demonstrate what happens if we don't remove the placement area from this side wall here. So we've got shelves. Now let's add under accessories, under rods, closet rods. This being a really basic design so we can show what happens. Whoops, let's make sure we get that closet rod right, right behind there. And this is also I wanted to make sure we went over today. Sometimes while you're working in 2020, your closet rod and your cleat appear as though that they're conflicting. This happens sometimes. I find it useful to delete the cleat, get the closet rod in place and add it again. Alternatively, you could, you could add the closet rods first, although I suggest against it. I do often forget the cleats if I don't add them in in the first thing. And again, they're for, they're for stability and you wanna have them in every tall module design. All right, so we've got closet rods at the top. Let's add some at the bottom. I haven't placed exactly where these should go in the middle. Well, we can go over that right afterwards. So here we have all the closet rods and you can see the green, um, the green box is showing that that is how much space that you need for those closed to hang. 